Executive MP and Shadow Minister of Ethics, Michael Barrett, joining us in this conversation. He wrote the letter that prompted the investigation. Michael Barrett, good evening and thank you for speaking with us here on CTV News Channel. Good evening. So the Ethics Commissioner has agreed to launch an investigation over a potential conflict of interest based on your letter. Your first reaction to this move? Well, this is uh, you know part of a pattern that we've seen from uh, Prime Minister Trudeau. This is the third time that he's been investigated by the Commissioner. Uh, and uh, we saw that with the Trudeau Report 1, with his trip to Prime Minister Trudeau's trip to Billionaire Island. We saw that with the Trudeau Report 2, with his uh, involvement in the SNC-Lavalin scandal. And now we see it again. It's a disturbing pattern when we have a Prime Minister who uses the power of his office and abuses the power of his office to reward his friends. So, Michael, let's talk in detail about what you found uh, that was unethical and what was going on. What are the uh, ethical considerations here in this story? Well, we have a, a sole source contract worth $900 million awarded uh, by the Prime Minister and the organization that uh, received this, uh, this contract um, said that they they were they were informed directly from the prime minister's office, which is highly unusual. This organization has direct ties to Prime Minister Trudeau, to his wife, to his mother. This is a this is a group that is directly linked to the Liberal Party of Canada and the organization's uh, uh, principals, the, the 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 folks that that run this group are donors of Mr. Uh, to Mr. Trudeau's campaigns, and so for him to to state that, which we now know is false that this was the only organization in Canada that uh, could that could uh, run this program um, is is it's frankly it's ridiculous the, to sideline the federal public service and and vault his friends to the front of the line uh, to receive millions in administrative fees to run this 900 million dollar program um, it's uh, it's obviously worthy of further scrutiny that's why I wrote the letter uh, um, in late June, and that's uh, obviously why the uh, Ethics Commissioner has now at this point um, opened an investigation. Uh, Michael, we know that the Prime Minister, of course, uh, has defended the partnership, saying that we was the only group with a nationwide network, and you were also citing that just a couple of moments ago. And when this deal was mutually uh, pulled apart, he called this as unfortunate. What does it speak about government's due diligence at the background work that needs to be done before awarding such contracts? Well, I, I think it's more than unfortunate, and it's not. Uh, it, it's no coincidence that after we called for an investigation into uh, this into this deal, we called for the auditor general to investigate. We called for um, for further scrutiny um, through Parliament, uh, and suddenly the 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 deal falls apart. This is uh, again, it's part of this. Uh, it, it's part of this pattern where um, the, the prime minister um, doesn't recognize that uh, there are limits on the power of his office. And so we've heard from the P federal public service, they've said that they would have been able to execute on this program. We entrust our professional public servants to, to administer so many programs, they do so successfully for Canadians, uh, and to sideline them in this case and put his friends first is, uh, is inappropriate. But Michael Barrett, uh... The charity, We Charity, had received only sole source contracts from the central government uh, in the last three years. So why bring this up this year? Well, we have a $900 million contract. We have uh, this program where the prime minister has red circled the federal public service and say, said they're unable to deliver on on their mandate, and that's to to run these to run these programs. Uh, it's effectively a, a cut from from the the federal public service to, to take uh, millions of dollars and then put them in the hands uh, of his friends is uh, is inappropriate. So um, past behaviors, uh, notwithstanding past sole source contracts, mm -hmm. um, this, this one is uh, that that's not an insignificant amount of money when we're talking about. $900 million, and that's why we've asked for the Auditor General to investigate as well. Uh, that will prove difficult for the Auditor General, as that office is now saying that they haven't been sufficiently funded uh, by the Trudeau Liberals, which, um, is, is, uh, should be, which should cause concern 
for Canadians when the Auditor General is for the first time uh, since its inception saying that it doesn't have the money to audit the government. You know, in the past since 2015, Michael, there have been two instances where the Ethics Commissioner has said, concluded that Trudeau had violated federal ethics law. You pointed out those two uh, uh, incidents as well of the snc Lavala case as well as the island visit. Going forward, as a primary opposition, the Conservatives, how are you going to step up pressure and take this forward? Well, we're, we're going to have to, uh, at this point, allow the Ethics Commissioner uh, to do his work. And uh, we're going to continue to call on the government to, to be transparent, uh, to release all communications, release the contract that, uh, that led up to, to this deal, and, uh, and really uh, to, to demonstrate to Canadians that um, you know, if there's nothing that's been done wrong, well, let's let some sun, sunlight uh, hit, this, um, hit this issue. But it, it speaks to a larger issue with this prime minister and with the government, and that's why in the past uh, uh, conservatives have called for and, and continue to call for tougher penalties for folks who break the Conflict of Interest Act. When we have public office holders okay. um, who, who repeatedly break the law, there need to be uh, real consequences so that there's a, a, a disincentive. We're now looking at a prime minister um, who has the distinction of being the first found guilty of breaking federal ethics laws, and now he's going for three strikes. So we'll, we'll have to see. Uh, we'll have to see what happens uh, at the outcome of this investigation. All right, we leave it at that for the moment. Conservative MP and Shadow Minister of Ethics Michael Barrett, appreciate your time. Thank you for speaking with us.